What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at a really awesome deck. Probably one of the best decks that I've seen in quite a while. That's right, and it comes from a fellow reviewer. Hmm. Who could it be? Well, we're going to be looking at the Slow Hands playing cards. That's right, by Kier Gomes and Nick Nisco. So, buckle in your seatbelts. We're going there. Let's go. The Slow Hands playing cards by Kier Gomes Magic and designed by Nick Nisco were on Kickstarter back on January 24th of 2020. The project ran for 30 days and was successfully funded after so, after the amazing 165 backers came together and pledged 10,071 US dollars of an amazing $7,500 goal. If you're not familiar with Nick Nisco or Kier Gomes, let's get you acquainted. That's right, Nick Nisco is pretty much elemental playing cards. He's put out decks such as the Oxygen and Hydrogen decks, and he's currently on Kickstarter with a new deck that's called Carbon. Kier Gomes is a fellow reviewer here on the platform, and let's get into it. So, the classic style tuck box here, as you can see, is all red. You're going to see that border there go along the whole edge line of the deck from top to bottom, side to side. On the bottom right corner, you're going to see the Slow Hands logo with the snail and the peace sign body. And then you're going to see Slow Hands there in their own design text font and playing cards underneath. The left side of the tuck box is going to say Starter's Edition with the double border going around. The right side of the tuck box is going to say Gomes and Nisco and it's going to also have that border again. The bottom of the tuck box is going to feature some ad copy about Slow Hands playing cards. The back design on the tuck is going to be the back design on the deck, which we'll get into here shortly. There's also going to be no tuck seal. The top part of the tuck flap is going to say slow hands playing cards once again, and the inner large part of the tuck flap itself is going to say practice does not make perfect. The back design on the deck itself is going to be very reminiscent at first glance of your favorite rider back style decks, making this also an easy transition if you're going to start making this an everyday carry. You're going to see that medium white poker border there along the edge line accompanied by also another pencil thin border also. You're going to see the slow hands writing text there that we saw make its appearance on the front of the tuck. Some more script and swirl work, also very, very reminiscent again. Making your way along into the middle, you're going to see a lot of dot work kind of fill in that negative space. And then the two-way mirrored image of the snail throwing up the peace sign and ending it all with that swirl in the center, actually making this a one-way design. This deck does come printed by the United States Playing Card Company on their premium B stock. That's right, this does have a traditional cut and an air cushion emboss, and this is a limited edition run of only 1,500 decks. With this deck, you're gonna receive some extras, and they are great. That's right, the first is going to be a duplicate card, a three of clubs, which we will talk about again here in a moment. The next card you're going to receive is a double facer. That's right, a double facer has one card on the other and another on the other. This one happens to be a ten of spades and a ace of hearts double facer, which is great for magic effects and more. 
The last two cards you're going to receive as extras are going to be your duplicate and original Jokers. The really cool thing about these Jokers is Kier kind of had a reimagining with these Jokers. If you're not familiar, the Riderback style decks have a Joker riding on a bicycle. This time around, he used the slow hand snail there sitting on the tricycle to kind of emulate that this is just starting out because this deck is kind of circled around and themed towards the magician or guy that's starting out in magic from day one. So also, if you look, you're going to see the S and H for slow hands in the top or left and bottom right. And then in the Joker there on the right, if you look in the wheel, you're going to see that same three of clubs make a reveal for a cool magic effect. The pips and indices in this deck are all your industry standard, as well as the courts, at least until we get to the king of clubs and the king of hearts, which the king of clubs is Kier Gomes, which the card was designed by Daniel Snyder of Black Roses, and the king of hearts is Nick Nisko, the designer of this deck, which he created himself. You'll also see on the king of hearts the elemental playing cards logo there on his right and left and then like i said the rest of the courts are all your industry standard same thing goes for the aces in this deck as you can see here until we get over to the prominent ace of spades you're gonna see that fat and enlarged spade pip in all black with that snail and the peace sign making its appearance looking like it's crawling away and then underneath, you're going to see Slow Hands, Gomes, and Nisco, and Starters Edition. That's it for this deck. Join me now for my final thoughts. Let's go. Get it? Because it's Slow Hands, right? Slow? No. Okay. All right. All right. I got it. I got it. Okay. Anyway, you guys want to know my final thoughts on this deck? I give it an A. I give it an A, man. I wanted to give it that perfect A+, plus, but just couldn't do it. Um, but, damn, it's a good deck, man. Wow, this is a great deck. Not good. It's great. Um, and trust me, once you get this in your hands, you're going to agree. Um, I got to say, when this deck was first announced back on Kickstarter and all that kind of stuff... I was very skeptical, right? Not saying anything bad about it, but I was skeptical at can it be pulled off, right? Because this deck is very reminiscent of that Rider Back style deck, right? That we all love and appreciate. So it was kind of like, can it be done, right? Because we see this happen a lot, not even just in the playing card world, but even in like movies and whatever. You see somebody that redoes something, kind of a reimagining, so to speak, and then either one of two things happen. Either they ruin it, or they make it the best version of that thing possible. And he did that, right? Kier created his own kind of version, so to speak, of the Rider Back deck. And that's something that's very hard to do and ballsy at the same time. And the whole concept behind this deck was great. You know, me personally, I'm not a fan of Nick Nisko's work, right? And I'm not saying anything or taking anything away from Nick himself. He's a phenomenal artist. I'm just saying as far as his decks go, not up my alley. But as an artist, he's great. The guy knows what he's doing. You can tell he knows his way around a deck of cards. And that's all that matters, right? And him and Kier coming together on this, I don't picture anybody else bringing this deck to its final glory the way that those two did. Um, so I definitely got to give give it up to both of those guys. Um, everything about this deck is just awesome, right? You have the rider back style decks with the, the Jokers, they're riding on the big bicycle. Kier kind of took that, flipped it on its side and said, I'm gonna do tricycle, you know? Cause this deck is all about just starting out in magic, right? Slow, you're, you're taking your time back to the basics, right? And that's kind of what he did. He kind of took everything 
and, and merge, you know, Cure's world with the bicycle world and kind of plow and just mixed and meshed and mashed and everything and combined. And this is what he came up with. And it's amazing. Nothing short of it. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, come on. You get some great gaff cards. You get a three of clubs reveal. Uh, I, I mean, you, 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 get, you get the works, right? Um, so definitely, definitely got to say this is the deck, guys. You got to get this, okay? It's non-crushed, which is another thing I also want to touch on real quick is everybody's doing crushed decks, right? Everybody's doing crushed decks. So to see a deck that isn't crushed but feels crushed, man. I mean, there were people out there that did reviews and stuff on this deck that said it was crushed. I mean, that's how good it feels. It's, you almost go, I don't know, you sure this ain't crushed? I mean, that's how crazy this is. And it's so soft and it feels good in the hands. It, feel, it fills the hands up, right? And it's just amazing. That's all I can say. And you can do everything with this. Poker night with the fellas, cardistry, magic, table, parlor, anything. Doesn't matter. This is the one, okay? So make sure you get your hands on these. Like I said, only 1,500 of these bad boys were printed, never to be printed again. Um, I know Kira is going to be working on the second edition very soon, if not already. It's not going to be a blue version, if that's what you guys think. He's already said it clear as day. I'm not doing the typical red and blue versions that you guys would think. Um, so it's going to be great because, you know, this one is the starters edition. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see where he goes with the next one. You know, is it going to be the intermediate edition or, you know, the, the novice edition or whatever, right? So it's going to be interesting. I'm watching you here. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I'll link everything down below where you guys can go and check these out as always so you can get yours because I'm telling you, if this ain't on your wish list, if there's any deck you can get right now, make this the one. All right? So that's all I can say about this deck, guys. I do want to thank Kier for allowing me to have these decks and sending them out so I could do the review for you. And if you enjoyed this review, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you beautiful people on the next one.